Hi everyone, welcome to our latest devlog update. A few weeks ago, we hosted a team deathmatch event designed to showcase our weapon framework and give the community an engaging playtest of our systems. This event was a crucial step as we work towards the release of City 17. We gather valuable feedback and insights that will help us refine and improve the gameplay experience. We developed an incredible map for this event, featuring an exceptional level of quality and attention to detail. Every aspect of the map was meticulously crafted, from the intricate environmental design to the strategically placed cover spots. Our goal was to create an immersive and visually stunning experience and provide a memorable event for all participants. We enable players to choose between playing as Combine or Citizens and engage in 15 minute rounds of combat against the opposing team. This event was live for 48 hours, during which over a thousand players participated in the playtest. This extensive testing period allowed us to thoroughly evaluate our weapon framework, identify areas needing improvement, and refine our systems. The feedback and data gathered from this event were invaluable in helping us enhance the gameplay experience and ensure a smoother, more balanced release for City 17. A major improvement we've made to the weapon framework is the development of first-person arm support. We have also adjusted and fixed the arm positions for many of the weapons to ensure a more realistic and immersive experience. These enhancements not only improve the visual fidelity, but also provide a smoother and more intuitive feel when using different weapons. We've also been enhancing the hit registration within the weapon framework to ensure the visible weapon tracers are smoother and more accurate. By refining the mechanics that detect and register hits, we aim to provide a more reliable and satisfying shooting experience. These improvements help in reducing inconsistencies and making the gameplay feel more responsive, which is crucial for both casual and competitive play. Another exciting feature we have been working on is occlusion culling, which aims to remove areas of the map that are not visible to the player to improve performance. For a map as large as City 17, this will be hugely beneficial for players with lower-end devices. By optimizing resource usage and reducing the load on the system, we can provide a smoother gameplay experience. This improvement could also pave the way for future support of mobile users, making the game accessible to an even wider audience. At the moment, we have refined the game's codebase, which is an independent place file containing the main codebase for the game. We are currently in the process of diagnosing and addressing a few bugs that have surfaced. This refinement of the codebase is crucial for maintaining stability and performance as we continue to develop and expand the game. At the moment, we are experimenting with an improved layout for the Combine Morph screen, allowing unit loadouts to occupy a larger portion of the screen. This redesign aims to enhance clarity and accessibility, making it easier for players to customize and manage their loadouts. We are continually refining this feature, and it will soon include higher quality renders. This update is part of our ongoing efforts to improve the user interface. That wraps up this devlog. We have encountered a slight slowdown in terms of progress, but we are excited to make up for it in the upcoming weeks. Once we have fully debugged the code base, we will be ready to integrate our code into the main game and present a playable version to the community. Stay tuned for more updates and exciting developments. To stay updated on events and receive major announcements well before they are showcased on YouTube, be sure to join our Discord. Your participation in our Discord community allows you to get the latest news, interact with other players, and engage directly with the development team. Please continue to leave any suggestions you have in the comments below. We read feedback on a daily basis and your input has a significant impact on the development of this game. Your suggestions help us improve and shape the game to meet your expectations. Until next time, stay immersed in the world of City 17. Thank you for your ongoing support and enthusiasm.